Hello and welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, hi, welcome. My name is Janet and I do subscription box unboxings and product reviews. I've been uploading videos every Wednesday and Saturday. At least that is the schedule that I'm going to be trying to stick to going forward. So hit that notification bell to notify you when I've uploaded my next video. So today we are going to be opening the Ipsy Glam Bag Plus for August. And for those of you that don't know, Ipsy is a monthly beauty subscription. The Glam Bag Plus runs at, I believe, $25 a month. And this month they've kind of done something a little bit different. So previously we were getting these little zipper bags. They had cute little designs on them and you would get five products inside the bag. Ipsy decided to switch it up a little bit and instead of offering those little beauty bags, they are now doing drawstring bags. And with the Glam Bag Plus, they are allowing subscribers to pick three of the five items. So you can customize this a little bit more to your taste and have a little bit more control of it. So I am fully aware of all what all five items are in this bag, which is why I have a blank face because I'm pretty sure besides maybe a blush and a foundation or a base, I have a full face of makeup in this bag, which I'm super excited about. So without further ado, let's get into it. So this is the drawstring bag. This was the one change that I wasn't really 100% sure I was on board with. I do like the little bags. They're super cute and they're actually pretty functional. I use them when I put like my daily makeup in my purse. I've used the little bags to put nail files in, put nail kits, hair ties, you know, just a bunch of different things. So when they said they were switching away from that to these drawstring bags, I kind of was like, I don't really know what I would do with this bag. It's a nice quality. I don't know. We'll just have to see. It's a very pretty color though. And it's got the glittery Ipsy logo on it. So let's see what we got in here. I noticed, oh, they do have a card in here. I was just thinking that, like there's not a card. Uh, August says, the future is yours. So again, they don't have the little cards that list the products and the retail costs. I'm really hoping Ipsy listens because I'm, I know I'm not the only one I've seen on several videos of other people that they want the cards brought back. If you're gonna print something, I think maybe print something that's a little bit more useful. That's just my opinion. But anyway, so this first product is from Beauty For Real. And if I remember correctly, these are kind of like eyeshadow sticks. So we got two sticks. And do we have color? Yeah, so shadow sticks 24 seven eyeshadow. And what's the name? Okay, so this one is called Ever Starstruck. And then this one is called Midnight Marathon. So that is Ever Starstruck. It's a nice champagne color. And then Midnight Marathon is a little bit deeper. Got more of a copper. Those are very pretty. And they're very creamy. Next in here we have from Huda Beauty Demi Matte Cream Lipstick in the color Feminist. I'm not a huge fan of matte lip, liquid lipsticks. I do have some texture on my lips and the matte formulas tend to emphasize that. So with this being more of a demi matte, I'm hoping this stays a little bit on the creamier side. It doesn't look like it's drying down completely matte. 
Next, we have Ciate London Watermelon Burst Setting Powder. So those first two items, those were already pre-chosen by Ipsy to be in my bag. Everything else going forward is gonna be my choices of what I picked. So I did pick the Ciate London uh, setting powder. I was super happy with their uh, watermelon hydrating primer and saw that this was part of that same line, so I wanted to give it a try. Just a super fine, and it's very silky, like just gliding over the skin. It does give a little bit of a shine, but it's not big flecks of glitter. Next, from Laura Geller, is their Kajal Longwear Eyeliner in Gilded Bronze. I don't know about you guys, but I have about a million black eyeliners and most of them I'm not a huge fan of, so I wanted to mix it up a little bit and get a brown eyeliner because I was going through my makeup when I was selecting my options and I noticed that I have one brown eyeliner and I'm not a huge fan of it, so wanted to try something, something else. So this is a bigger stick, so it's definitely not gonna be a fine liner but that is really pretty. And as I'm kind of smudging it, it is moving a little bit, but it's not disappearing. That's the one thing I, I sometimes see with these Kajal eyeliners is that they're so creamy and soft that you can pretty much like wipe them off by just touching them. So this looks like it does have a little bit of a staying power to it. And the last thing in the box, of course, is my favorite thing. It's an eyeshadow palette. Okay, so it's Estate Cosmetics is the maker of the eyeshadow palette and they must have collaborated with Bailey Sarian, who I'm not familiar with, but I love the outside packaging. It's very tropical. Oh wow, those are big eyeshadow pans. That's amazing. Look at that. Those are like half dollar sizes. It's a very pretty color story. It's very tropical, very summery. Yeah, I'm just in awe of how big those are. I don't, I don't think I have an eyeshadow palette that has pans that size. So let's go ahead and do a couple swatches. Let's see here. Let's do, do this purple called Roller Skates. Okay. Let's do this Rose Tattoo, kind of like a burnt orange. Let's see if we can build that up just a little bit. There we go. Let's do this gold called Soul. That's gorgeous. Look at that. Yeah, these seem really nice. I love the color story of it. And this is definitely up my alley as far as shades that I typically wear on a daily basis. So I'm really excited to play around with this one. So my face is bare. We are going to try to do this on camera today. I don't wanna make this video a million minutes long so we'll just try and do something that's super quick Ooh, okay so this is a good sign i have a makeup remover wipe that i'm trying to wipe off the swatches and the lipstick obviously went away but i don't know if you can see but those color sticks those shadow sticks and that kajal stick is staying so that is very hopeful for me so good sign all right, first thing I'm gonna do is go in with my eyeshadow primer, and this is from Wet n Wild, it's just their eyeshadow primer. And we're gonna prime the face with the Ciate London Watermelon Burst Primer. Now, let's see. We've got these two sticks. I think I want to maybe stick with the lighter champagne one, the Ever Starstruck. 
Being on the lid should go pretty well with this toasty color. Kind of like a rose. I use that as my transition. And then let's take that stick, put that all over the eyelid. That smoothed out really nice. We're gonna let that kind of dry itself down a little bit. And I'm gonna go ahead and do my CoverGirl Clean Matte BB Cream. And typically I stay away from my under eyes because I do have some fine lines and I don't like or I don't want to run the risk of product creasing underneath my eyes. So I usually avoid it, but today because we have that setting powder, I'm gonna try it and see how well it does at preventing under eye creases. Do that right away. I know this brush is ridiculously large for what I'm doing, but I don't feel like grabbing another one. You can really see if it's doing anything. Mouth a little bit and the nose, because that's usually where I have a lot of issues. And chin. And four. And it does smell like watermelons. That feels pretty dried down, so let's go ahead and add some depth to it. Let's take kind of like this rosy color right here. So we're gonna put that on the outer edge and into the crease. I like it. The bronzer that I'm going to be using is from Wander Beauty and it's Trip for Two. It's just this cute little bronzer and blush duo that I got in probably a BoxyCharm. Go ahead and do, I'm just gonna use the blush in here real quick. And let's do the lower lash line. Let's take that, hmm. Let me try this Venice Fling. I think I'm gonna take that same color and go just hug the lash line. Maybe a little bit of a smoky eye. Okay. And let's go ahead and use that Kajal stick. Let's see how this is gonna go. Okay, I'm gonna do the eyes real quick with mascara and we are almost done. Do just a little bit of a highlight. highlight to the inner corner there to brighten things up. The last thing we're going to try is this Huda Beauty uh, liquid lipstick. That has a little bit of a tingle to it, like it's like minty almost feeling on the lips. It doesn't sting like a plumper, but it's just got like a little bit of a, like a mint to it. So this is the final look. I am super happy with everything. I feel like I say that in every video, but yeah, these are really good products. I'm happy with the quality of everything. This eyeshadow palette, super pigmented, beautiful color story went on super easy, blendable. 
A plus on this one. The eyeshadow sticks, these feel like they have a lot of staying powder and they're very beautiful colors. Easy to create a simple look with just a little bit of a shimmer to it. So these are A plus for me as well. I'm just shocked. Like I've, I don't think I've ever had a bag where I've 100% loved every single product I've gotten. Um, Kajal stick, uh, we'll have to see, but I mean that swatch is on there. I don't think that's gonna move. I will keep you posted on how well this wears throughout the day. Share it either in the description box below or on my Instagram story, so make sure you're following me on Instagram. This is a really good eyeliner, and it's brown, it's not black. Like we get in every single box, which is great. Yeah, hit on this one. The setting powder, um, this was probably about the one that I was like, meh, you know, with. I don't use a lot of setting powders because I, like I said, I try to avoid my under eye area. Um, and I don't use traditional foundations just because I don't like the way they feel or look on my skin. I have not mastered how to not have cake face with a foundation so that's why I like the BB cream because they can you can sheer them out so we'll have to see I'll have to play around with this and maybe get out of my comfort zone try it with an actual foundation and see how well it goes but so far it looks like it brightened up the under eye with the little tiny flecks of um, just a little bit of a shimmer to them overall I mean it's super silky what oh I didn't just break it I didn't break it. And the Huda Beauty. So this has been on my lips for a little bit and it is not drying down to a full matte, which is great. The color is beautiful. It applied amazing. I just, yeah, and it's got that little bit of a mint, mintiness to it. I don't even know what that is. I'm curious as to how much this is because I might want to pick up a couple more shades if this is how it dries down. You know it's still very comfortable on the lips like I absolutely hate matte liquid lips for that reason that they I feel like I my lips just get the moisture just sucked out of them so this is not that at all I love this so that is all that I have for you today thank you so much for stopping by I really do appreciate it uh, hit that like button if you enjoyed what you saw leave me a comment below i love hearing from you guys so let's get some conversations going down in the thread you know what did you guys think of this bag do you like that ipsy switched to these drawstring bags i still i'm not sure i'm gonna have to see what i can do with this as far as uh having that around so let me know what you think if you are a Ipsy subscriber, what did you choose as your three options if you do the glam bag? Make sure to hit that subscribe button and share this video with your friends. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.